Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. First of all, Oh, yes. Okay, so first of all, uh, yeah, uh, we got a new hideout. Yeah, that's the shaped one that you probably saw yesterday. Uh, you get that one uh, when you actually punch Shaper in the face until he is dead. Or you go to the shop and just, you know, new, buy it for 20 bucks, basically. So I did the first version, you can do the second version. <laughs> and then, um, yeah. What else to say? Uh, we have some. I was opening the shop. I saw Celestial Soul Rent, Celestial Aura, Rip Money. I love Celestial stuff. You guys know that. Celestial hideouts, uh, or at least shaped hideout. Now we have this beautiful Celestial area here that looks actually pretty cool. And this beautiful, whatever it looks like, arcane, arcane ish Celestial Soul Rent. So how does this look like actually with a GMP? Do we have a GMP somewhere? Uh, gems, 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 gems. Where is my gem tab? GMP. Uh, screw this, screw that, and this. Um, Solrent. GMP. Where is my unleash? But it doesn't work in hideout. So let, let's check this one. Where is it? Here. Oh, look at this. The sound. God, I want to I want to see this with Unleash. That pretty much looks insane. I hope uh, Unleash support. Let's get this over here. This might change my opinion about my current character, right? <laughs> I mean, your character has to look good. So, by the way, welcome to day six of the Synthesis League. I am completely just woke up, like just trying to get my stuff straight and then start streaming because today we want to kill this dude in the middle. So. Holy shit, that looks insane. I don't know if you hear the sound, but holy fuck. It looks beautiful. Woo! Perfect. Okay, so <laughs> enough of that. Let's go right into the news or into the progress update and so on. So. I still haven't found an Exalted Orb. Isn't that great? We have now slash played two days and 13 hours, like almost 14 hours. That means we have uh, two multiplied by 24 plus 14. We have 62 hours on this character. We are currently level 91 on this one. Uh, Atlas almost cleared. There's 22 maps missing. Uh, the majority is just uh, tier 14. I cleared up yesterday. Uh, 11, 12, and 13. So uh, at 14, we are going to buy those maps today and these, and then we're gonna probably do Shaper, I guess, on a full link because still currency short. You know, I have like 40 chaos here, which is not too bad. But that, like, all the currency I'm getting, all the currency, the jeweler orbs that I'm selling for chaos orbs, I just buy maps, try to complete the Atlas because once this is done, I can just farm whatever I want. Whatever I find, basically, just throw an owl on it and make profit that way, right? Because I don't have to focus or worry about uh, valing those high tier maps and so on. I also started to get some uh, unique maps going. Uh, the rest of the unique maps that you see over here, they are just expensive. That's the problem. I think Dorian is like 30 chaos, Pirandus is like 100 chaos, uh, Twilight Temple 20 or so. So those unique maps besides the Hall of Grandmasters, um, I've done yet. At least I've not done them because they are expensive. Yeah, that's the point. So I'm probably um, going to try to finish up this Atlas here, trying to do those Guardians today and the Shaper so we can tomorrow, finally on day 7 in the morning, um, make the final video of this series. So what else did change throughout yesterday? Uh, I'm still sticking to the Contagion as a strain setup because it's just a lot of fun to play. I just love it. The chain reaction is getting bigger and bigger. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, 
my first gems are now uh, with 20% quality. So I, I don't know if I have a 20%, uh, at least a, a level 20 over here somewhere. Maybe I forgot one yesterday. So I can show you how you can convert those. But I guess not. Oh, here, Contagion, level 20. So the thing is, uh, if you have those con uh, this Contagion gem, you have two options. One, sell this one, goes for 5 chaos. Then go to PoE trade. Let's open this one over here so we can check the price. Um, so we go here, Contagion. Let's just search for like uh, 20 quality, something like that. So you see they are two chaos. So basically selling my gem for four chaos and buying this one would save up two chaos orbs. Uh, actually three if, I, um, if you're trying to uh, convert that. But I just don't want to do it. The main reason of that, I need to sell something, I need to trade, I need to buy. And so I just want to get rid of that one. It's, like I said, not the cheap version. I don't have a GCP. Oh, wait a second. Uh, slash DND. Anyone? A GCP, please. So I can show you that. Uh, like, like I said, I just logged in like two minutes ago uh, to start recording this video. So we have an update for today. Um... Hopefully one is just going to throw me one into the guild stash so you see how we can convert this level 20 gem to a level 1 gem back and with 20% quality because this is the point. So what I was doing is I was just like throughout the leveling progress you know um, at some point those gems hit level 20. So what I did is just using a juicy P. Thank you. Slash D&D. &D. There you go. Um, so now you just vendor those two. With a, with a GZP and you see now it's level 1 but with 20% quality. I know uh, this is probably now the more expensive version but this time I just don't have to, you know, buy and trade so no social interactions on that point. But yeah, the, the circle will now be a little bit smaller but you're just gonna run like a couple maps and uh, we're good to go. So let's get our arcane um, contagion effect back because this looks like better for some reason. And yeah, this is the update for now. So let's see about the gear, what did change. Um, as I said, still on a falling contagion with um, increased area of effect, faster casting and arcane search. So I have the arcane search um, on level eight. So every time I use a contagion, not yet at the moment. Oh my God, this video, because I just reset it, it's less mana cost, but if it's level 18, I think um, it's perfectly fine with the arcane search level eight. So every time I use a contagion, I get my arcane search. Then we have still the Blight to cast while channeling and the Soul Rent for our single target to debuff the enemy, get some leech. Uh, then we have the Essence Drain, Efficiency, uh, Control Destruction and Void Manipulation as our main damage dealing ability. Uh, on our shield, since we have the Magna Eclipse, I just got rid of all the purities. So I'm currently using Discipline as a standalone reserved on mana. And then I have uh, the new Malevolence with a Blood Magic to reserve on life. You see this reserves 87% of our life. So basically this aura alone at the moment is just fine to get uh, ourselves to low life. So let's remove this one. Here we have Flame Dash, Faster Casting, Void Manipulation just to level the gem. As I have on the offhand, this is just Bane, Control Destruction, Clarity, like those kind of stuff that I maybe use later on the point so i just level those because it doesn't hurt if you have a six socket weapon in your offhand where just throw in some gems and yeah level them up like that so let's throw that into here but also we have the solaris lorica still so we have the pain attunement going um at least you know when we are on low life we get 30 percent more spell damage so the Solaris Lorica will say uh, chaos damage does not bypass energy shield that's the same stat that you have on the chevron's wrappings and this will basically allow me to play um, low life because otherwise if some something hits with a chaos spell I have like, I don't know, how much life do I have? If it's reserved actually, um, yeah, 198 life. So basically anything that hits me will just kill me instantly. So I need to have that one and I cannot afford the shafts yet. So yeah, gonna go live with it. So we went over the gems. Uh, here we have a custom damage taking mortal call with blasphemy and the despair since I'm currently not running Bane. But when I have a six linked armor, I'm gonna get a six linked essence drain into here. So um, since this void manipulation is just useless, we can basically just, um, this is the plan, like get here uh, two 
two two links for a Casper Damage Taken and um and the Blasphemy support over here. Uh, then we can get some shape glows with the stat faster casting. You know, so the gems can uh, are supported by faster casting. So I can get rid of the faster casting over here, play contagion in a three link, and use flame dash over here in this one single spot, because uh, it will still get supported by the faster casting. Okay, so um, to show you again the um, let's move the webcam just like this. To show you again this Magna Eclipse uh, energy shield thing. So now I'm on 6.6k energy shield, which is not a lot, but hey, hey, wait a second. Discipline. 7.7k, that's better. So if we remove the shield, we drop... Okay, shit, how we can test this now? Probably just remove the web, I guess. That would be... that would make more sense. So we're not dropping the auras. So... I dropped the weapon, 6.2k energy shield, I equipped the weapon, 7.8 almost. So that's a 1800 flat energy shield coming from the combination of Severus Limp and the Magna Eclipse shield. So, back over here. <laughs> uh, flasks, I still have the shitty flask, I still have the life flask, just for the bleed immunity. The rest, shock immunity, whatever, increased movement speed, like all my flasks are just shitty. The only thing I really use is the... The Quicksilver Flask for freeze immunity and yeah, if I'm bleeding, hit one and that's it. The rest of the items I upgraded a little bit, just like, we just have resistances. I wasn't even rest camped yesterday, now we fixed that one, so resistances and some energy shield. Resistances, some energy shield. Resistances, some energy shield. Resistances, some energy shield. Isn't that great? I also bought the Martyr's Crown. That's the upgraded version of the D D D D D D D D Crown of Thorns. So this one gives 40, uh, 74 energy shield. This one gives flat 198. I got this one for three chaos yesterday, I think. So that was like a huge buff to my energy shield, which was actually super insane. Good. In terms of skill tree, I could finally manage to replay some stuff. So I have now running Withering Presence, so I skipped the Forbidden Power since I'm not focusing on power charges anymore. So I also removed the power charge over here and over here. This is the current setup. So I have my skill effect duration over here, um, energy shield, energy shield, uh, more chaos damage over time. Here we have Amplify and Blast Radius. Those two will significantly boost my area of effect in terms of the clear speed, contagion, bigger circle, bigger clears. Then I could get an energy from within for one axe, and this is not an axe that I found, because still no axe found, but yeah. Uh, this one is pretty expensive, but what it does is, it, since we are not, you know, you can play low life on multiple versions. The one is with Presence of Chayula, where you can convert 20% uh, of your maximum life to energy shield. Um, since I'm not using that, I, I have no reason to go live in any case, right? So these, this melding wheel here gives me combined maximum energy shield and maximum life. So what the energy from within does is increase in reductions to life in radius are transformed to apply to energy shield. So as soon as I get this one in here, all of these nodes give now pure energy shield. So the life... If you see here, this one has 10 plus 6% life. So now we equip it, it's 16% energy shield. So we're just gonna uh, boost our energy shield by, yeah, quite some, I would say. Uh, the rest is just like, yeah, entropy, uh, essence search. I got rid of the Hex Master for now because I'm not running uh, Bane. So there is no reason for me to enlarge the curse effect and that kind of stuff, or at least like the skill effect duration. And yeah, moving down here, now I'm just going to throw some points into here if I level up, maybe take the jewel slot, something like that. But this is the tree for now. This is actually works out quite fine. We just have one big problem. The Magna Eclipse take and needs 159 strength. And as a witch player, you have rarely any kind of strength. That's why I took this note because it delivers 20 strength, 30 over here, 30 over here. Um, then I have on my rings, I think, um, where do I have it? 16 strength over here. The chest gives me a couple of strengths. So if I remove all those strength specific items on the skill tree and the items itself, I probably end up having somewhere about 50 strength, maybe. So getting up to like 160 to equip the shield is like, yeah, a serious kind of work. Okay, what else? Pantheons, I never even take care of those ones. So I have here grid cool for physical damage reduction just for the, uh, if I stand still and cast uh, the blight. 
And here's Solid Lunaris for movement speed, I guess. Could be this one as well for bossing. I don't know, like... At some point, when I start farming uh, the Pentium powers uh, after I've done Shaper, then I will decide what I need. But I think those two could be could work out pretty fine. So, um, what else to say? I think plan for today, as I said, um, I yesterday. Wait a second. I, yesterday I made Delph. Uh, like every time I have still feed, I'm just I'm going to um, push into the Delph. I'm currently at two uh, 150, and here I got a Lich. And the Lich worked out pretty flawlessly on my falling, and he dropped one of these beautiful hail negators. And they go for an axe, at least yesterday before I locked off. Now it's 50 k Oh, come on. Yesterday it was one exalt. And then I locked off, went to bed, and now I'm recording a video, and now it's 50 chaos. So probably 49 chaos. Hell yes. Hoggers. Rip. <laughs> Basically like that. So, yeah. This is it. This is it. I'm just going to stream now. I'm looking forward for today. Um, Nexus progress, not really something. Uh, just going to farm all everything up, like doing my daily missions, like check out Sana every day uh, if she has something new. Not at the moment. Memory fragments, I'm somewhere at tier 14 elder influence. So aim for today, shape her down. So I can deliver you guys tomorrow um, a footage of the shaper fight on a falling tiny i don't know how much i stick into that one probably like 100 chaos in total because uh yeah, yeah i mean actually 200 because this jewel is actually pretty expensive but we're gonna see so that's it i don't have anything more to say i just want to tell you guys that i still plan to import the bane for our single target setup i still stick to essence drain because it's just beautiful chain reactions and Having a lot of fun with that one, and I wanted to show you guys the new shaped hideout, which is actually hilariously expensive, but hey, it's 20 bucks, so... Yeah, stream of life. Oh, God. And yeah, the new effect. So, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and see you later on stream, or tomorrow on the daily update.